Well, we got a bit of a balmy day. Kind of mid-February here. Gonna take Clyde out for a little drive today and stretch his legs. This smart cap is so good. Wicked piece of kit. Not super happy with the amount of spitz that ends up on the back of it, but that is what it is. But what a really well-made piece of kit. Fits perfectly. It's actually the same size as what you would put on a six and a half foot box for an F-150. Loving it. This never winter vehicle, never winter driven vehicle is getting its first uh, winter of constant salt bass, but we bought it to drive it. So going for a rip with the wife today. Are we going to get the truck first or? Hi. Hi. Where are we going? For a drive. Going for a drive in good old Clyde. Yeah. We're gonna go uh, hang around in Beaver Valley today, so. My wife, uh, which makes me happy to absolutely no end, has been regularly asking me to go for drives in the new truck. So say hi to General. Hey. Where are we to? <laughs> Where are you to? Well, right now we're uh, driving through Clearview Township. They speak a little funny here, but I'm from Bruce <laughs> County, so it's hard for me to say. We figured we'd go to Beaver Valley today, go check out a couple of lookouts, maybe go check out a waterfall, something like that. Hopefully we can get to the lookout. Yeah, last time we went up there, someone was stuck on the hill and we couldn't get there. So I'm sure today will be different, but uh, yeah, just out for a drive. It's a beautiful sunny day. February feels like a little bit like spring, huh? Yeah, it does. Spring's coming. Nice clear day. Four degrees. All right. Driving. So apparently you can't access a natural area. Just go this way, follow the trail. It does. No, it doesn't. This is it. This is, look, there's all kinds of footprints here. The name. The NIMBYs don't want people checking out Eugenia Falls. Well, they can suck it because we're going anyways. Well, never been here to Eugenia Falls before. And although it's closed to the public, I'm sure some NIMBYs or Karens or whatever have to make that decision. But it's quite a big waterfall. And right now it's all iced over, like completely iced over. It's hard to tell. Get a good shot of it. Look at all those like mounds of ice down there, babe. And there's like columns of it. Look at this. Look at those. Oh yeah, that's cool. How neat is that? Yeah, so it's kind of hard to get a view of it. spring when that's roaring. That looks like a good 50 foot drop maybe. So sorry where are we going? Where are we? We're just heading down into Kimberly, Beaver Valley. This is one of the cool hidden gems of Ontario. Used to be uh, Talisman Ski Resort was down here. Beaver Valley Ski Club's off to the left. You'll see it again here in a second. So that's a private ski club. And then further down here was Talisman Ski Club, which actually closed years ago. It's a real shame that the township actually took it back on a tax sale. So it's been kind of sitting dormant for a long time. And I think the plan was to build some condominiums or something. significant elevation drop to get down into here. The Beaver Valley. But you can see up here on the left the open hill. That's Talisman. Here's the the old Talisman site. 
my understanding is that these buildings are not used anymore. I could be wrong though, it's been a while. But everything's all blocked off. There's some signs of activity for sure, but here's the old hill. That hasn't been used in years. And then there's all kinds of like little houses and condos and all sorts of stuff up here. Crazy. I can remember coming here when I was a kid. First time I ever skied was here, I think. Sorry about the wind, but here we are on the west side of Beaver Valley at the top of Talisman. We should have an overland north hill climb here. Amazing place. Well, here we are up at the top of Old Baldy. This is the Beaver Valley. It's starting to snow a little bit. Supposedly we're 200 meters above the floor of the valley. We're getting socked in here now. Cool little hike to get up here. And great trails. Not super difficult. But wicked views once you get up here. Here's my honey. Yeah, we're starting to get socked in, eh? Yeah, you can see the snow's coming. Yeah. Look at that. It's a big storm. So we were previously over there on Talisman. So now we're on the other side of the valley looking back over at it as the storm rolls in. So we should probably get moving here soon. Cool trail though, eh? That is awesome. Yeah. I'm glad we took the time. Frank and Irene, looks like 98 years of Bruce trailing. Will you walk the trail with me for 98 years, honey? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we'll be alive in 98 years, babe. We probably won't make it that far. Down we go. <laughs> He's looking at you, kid. Totally worth coming up here. It's not a long hike, just on the other side of Kimberly. What do you think out of 10, Walshy? Oh, it's a definitely 10. Not too long. 10? Not too long to walk up to and beautiful scenery. That's a pretty high mark, especially during the Olympics. I give it an eight. It's pretty good. So my wife is concerned about snow fleas. Yeah, you know, these oh, they're bouncing. Yeah, I know they jump. There's millions of them. Oh, <laughs> Think they jumped on you? I don't know. <laughs> well, that concludes the view at the cliff edge, which was magnificent. <laughs> Old Baldy's worth coming back to. We'll bring the kids back here. Yeah, there's old Clyde warming up, waiting to take us home. Ciao for now.